as you can see the AC is working so I'm gonna tell you how I wired this up in a few moments but I do want you to see that I've got the fans kicking in those side go on and off based on the pressure I'll explain everything in a minute I'll turn the truck off I just wanted to see to you guys I do have it running the compressor cycles on and off like it should as does the fans okay so now that the truck is off I'm going to explain a little bit about what you just saw going on so my original attempt was I was going to have the ECU control the compressor cycle the compressor on and off based off the pressures and there was a pressure sensor on my high pressure side over here it's kind of buried underneath there I had a pressure sensor there wired in and I had my five volts reference my ground and the other wire going back to the ECU I had that all wired to the ECU I got HP tuners well, I tried to tune it to every option in HP tuners I tried to put it on I think there's five different settings I have to look again but I tried every different setting. I tried manipulating the fans at different pressures and I just could not get the fans to kick on or get the compressor to stop cycling. Because what would happen when I was trying to charge up the system is the computer would tell the compressor to come on and then it wouldn't tell it to turn back off. So my gauges would just max out and I'm like, ah crap, I gotta disconnect this thing. So I would unplug the compressor real quick so it wouldn't over pressurize the system by too much, right? So that was the issue I was having with uh, the computer and HP tuners and everything. So what I did was I opted to go with the trinary switch option. So basically all I did was right over here, I unplugged that pressure sensor and put a trinary switch right there. So basically what a trinary switch does, it's the same concept, it's just done in an analog way instead of a digital way. So that's kind of like a two-way switch. It has two different circuits. It's got one circuit, for the fans and one circuit for the compressor so what i did was i got the blue wire that comes out of my plug over here i think the c101 plug this is a 98 s10 it's a blue wire for my ac request sig signal that comes from inside the cab so when i turn to max ac to turn on the ac a signal from that blue wire comes out right so what i did was i wired that in line to the circuit for the trinary switch and then up to my computer and then from the computer, it goes over to the, the fuse box over here and hits the compressor relay. And then I think it's a dark green or dark green and white wire that comes back here and tells the compressor to kick on. Now, I have a wiring diagram on my flash set up in a few minutes so you can pause the video and take a look at the wiring diagram. I've actually made two wiring diagrams, one which illustrates the way I have it currently wired. And then the way you can wire it if you just want to use the trinary switch bypassing the computer completely. So what that circuit will do though, with the trinary switch, is it will engage the compressor at 30 PSI and turn it back off at 403 PSI or something like that. So it will control your hot, your high pressure side of the hose uh, from 30 to 400 cycling the compressor on and off, whatever it needs to do. So that's one circuit to the trinary switch. The other circuit is for your fans. So you would wire your fans in line with that circuit and that would turn your fans on anytime the pressure is above 250 something psi in the system so it'll kick your fans on so what i did with the fans again you can see the wiring diagram but i ran a ground wire back up through here um, on the trinary switch circuit i just grounded one side out on this ground here and then the other side of it i ran a wire up with two diodes in it and had to go to my fan relays so that way whenever the computer would tell the fans to come on, because I had dual fan controls from the computer, right? So one fan will come on and then another one will come on depending on the temperature. So I didn't want both fans to come on and it backfeed into the trinary switch if one of those fans came on. So I put a couple diodes in line to make sure there was no backfeeding or anything like that going on. Also, I didn't want the signal to backfeed back up into the computer. Um, even though it's just the ground, I felt like the diodes were the way to go to wire this up. I'm going to put those wiring diagrams for you guys to take a look at. Now, in all honesty, I don't know why the AC even works like this because technically the computer should not be telling the compressor to come on, but for some reason it is. It's just always telling it to come on and never tells it to turn off. I don't even have the pressure, the pressure sensor plugged in right now. That's still the, the plug that goes to that sensor and that's still all still wired up to the 
computer. So if I ever want to try to mess with that again later, it would just be a matter of unplugging the trinary switch, plugging that in, and theoretically I should be able to reprogram and get it working that way. But since I couldn't, this was a more analog way of making it happen. And also the second wiring diagram that I'll show will show you how to do it if you don't want the computer to do anything. If you just want to have the cab controls and have everything completely analog, you would use that second wiring diagram. So I hope this helps you guys out, helps you figure out your AC system for your hot rod build. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button. Thank you very much, YouTube.